Hi everyone, I hope you're well. To those that don't know me, my name is Hibber and I am from London. I'm a DIY fashion and lifestyle YouTuber and today we are going to be doing a kind of like a test. That was really high pitched. <laughs> kind of like a DIY test. I've been seeing people online use this product um, and I really need to try it. So without further ado, I will let you know what it is. So, oh, uh, what was that? Uh. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, so, really quickly, the reason why my face is like this is because I was looking for my lip liner and I found this white, white eyeliner. And I just wanted to do a little star and then I wasn't happy with the little star and then it just got into this big piece of artwork on my face. And you know what, this is what quarantine does. I'm currently filming in the quarantine, so there you have it. Um, anyway, back to the video. <laughs> so this is what I am going to be testing today. I'm gonna to be like one of those makeup artists, you know the ones that kinda of go, today I am going to do so this is called Drawing Gum and I got it from Amazon and basically um, it's for, I think, watercolour paints. I don't know if there's other paints that you can use but I got it for watercolour paints and basically um, you draw with this and then you paint on top and then it, it blocks out some of the paint. Does that, that make any sense? If it doesn't, we are going to go and test it out now. So, let's do this! Woo! Exciting! So I start by getting a piece of paper from my Arteza watercolour pad. I really love this paper because it seems like good quality and it's affordable and it's quite durable because I'm still practicing so I feel like I can experiment a bit more with that paper. Then I'm using the Mozart watercolours. I got this and the notepad from Amazon. I love just the selection of colours on this. It's just something that I treated myself to because it's just so colourful and I'm, I've decided to pick out a lot of the metallics this time. So I've started by drawing a line in the centre of the card and then by basically, I just had to kind of like wing it. I wanted to be quite artistic with this and not too accurate. I'm really sorry for my hair in front of, getting in front of the camera by the way. Um, and so I just drew lines and just, I don't know, I just had to keep rubbing it out because it wasn't like the easiest thing I've done. But um, yeah, I just kept going and joining the lines, kind of using the central line as my guide. And I'm just creating a geo, um, not a geo, sorry, a crystal shape, just as simple as possible, just so that um, I could kind of put the focus on the drawing gum and also my watercoloring technique. So this drawing gum I also got from Amazon, I seem to have ordered a lot of art supplies from Amazon. Um, I'm always trying to save a little bit of money and I also like the selection on Amazon and I find they're quite priced quite well on there so yeah um so now you can see i'm drawing with this drawing gum the thing that i like about this is you can do quite narrow lines and draw straight onto it i'm sometimes a bit messy and sloppy with paintbrushes as much as i'd love to be better with my paintbrush skills um i do find this is quite an easy shortcut i had to do like kind of squeeze it out quite a few times it's i felt like it was good enough you know i feel like it does the trick i just wished the drawing fluid kind of squeezed out a bit better but it might be because it's new so maybe after a few uses it'll flow better. So as you can see um, I'm basically just doing the drawing gum on the pencil lines and um, yep and then I'm just drying it with a hairdryer. To be honest with you I'm not sure I was supposed to do that. I was drying it with a hairdryer so that I could carry on with the tutorial but actually you'll see later on in the video it was quite hard to rub the gum off so maybe just wait for it to dry rather than use a hairdryer and it doesn't take that long to dry. Now I'm starting with just bold different colours. I want to give it a gemstone vibe. I'm doing a lot of blues and purples and blending them together and I'm just kind of making my brush quite wet and you can dab away some of the excess water with um, some tissue. I use um, loo roll. Please do not use loo roll because then the bits get on your art. Um, just use kitchen towel and I'm just building up the colour now. So I just keep building up it up and building it up as you can see and then now I'm dabbing some splodges of bolder colour just to add a little bit of texture and make it a bit more interesting and fun. Thank you. 
Now I'm adding a bit of metallic purple and now I am drying it with a hairdryer once again because of the gum. I think drying it with a hairdryer probably wasn't the best idea. It's just making it way too dry on that paper and kind of sealing it on. Um, but I really wanted to carry on with this tutorial. So after I had dried the paint, I flicked on the some white just to kind of give a starry kind of textured effect. And um, I think if you want to do this effect, just wait for your paint to dry. Don't necessarily use the hairdryer. If you want to use a hairdryer, just don't overdo it. And now I'm doing a bit of brush detail with some stars and dots from some matte metallic iridescent watercolour. And obviously this is just an additional touch. You don't need to do that. If you're limited on watercolour colours, then you don't need to do that. So now you can see I am rubbing off the gum now that my painting is fully, fully, fully dry. It has to be completely dry. You don't want to ruin your artwork. So I am struggling a bit, to be honest with you, rubbing off the scum. I would like to test this technique again, having not used a hairdryer. But anyway, you can see it turned out pretty cute. Not bad for a first try. That's it, guys. I did it. That is the second time I've used masking fluid and I kind of like how it turned out. Um, this is, what was I gonna say? Oh, so this is basically done. I'm just gonna cut off the edge just to make that straight because there's a little ridge from where it was in the pad. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. <sighs> I ran down to eat some cheese crisps while the battery was charging and then I'm out of breath now and I'm greedy and I feel sick. Oh, vegan cheese crisps, by the way. Anyway, so I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I am actually going to do another tutorial with the masking fluid. Um, this one was just a quick like testing kind of thing. So many things that I've bought online and haven't actually used, so I can test it with you guys. So if you like this video, I'm gonna be doing lots more DIY. Um, I do a bit of fashion, fashion design, blah, blah, blah. blah making clothes as well as styling clothes as well as styling the clothes I make I like to do a lot of I like to throw in some pops of celestial because I actually have quite like a celestial business which I can talk about in another video and um, so you'll see a lot of that and then we've got what else have we got oh vegan treats we do vegan treats so you've got styling diy vegan treats bit of fashion bit of celestial that is what you expect from my channel if you like that then definitely give me a subscribe and if you like this video I really appreciate a thumbs up and see you guys next time mwah, mwah, so much love <laughs>